And we, here we are, Delta Labs, level three. Sector three, it contains second generation transfer platforms, teleports. Nice teleportation, boys. And girls. And men. And women. Let's see the security station. <laughs> uh, I hear shit. I hear shit. I don't know if that's somebody coming through to kick my ass. I knew it. I knew somebody was gonna come over and sh shoot me right in the fucking face. You know, what the fuck out of me. Stop it. Damn, c like they fucking around. They're like, ah, stop this son of a bitch. Yeah, get on. Alright, so somebody's destroying the bridge, apparently. Access granted. You say no? Oh no. Oh my god. I wish this camera told me some more. I mean, <clears throat> it doesn't move, it just sits in one place. And it's funny that they're hiding over here. It's like, we've got to hide back here. He'll never stop us. Never. Again, if I was maintaining control of this area, it wouldn't be a bad idea to be hiding behind some fucking paneling and shit. <clears throat> okay, he's... Oh, there's one of them here. I hear him. He groaned. Oh, okay, so that was the bridge he was talking about. Yeah, that would be pretty hard to get across. Shit, shitter. <clears throat> I knew it. I knew I heard one of these. I didn't hear the c sack but I knew I heard one of them. They always make distinctive grunts. Yeah, it makes it... Go on, hiss. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead, Conker. Dead. Oh. Here I am. Can't see for shit. It's still dark as hell. Dark as hell. Dark as hell. There's nothing in the toilets. Oh, wait. I said something too soon. Said it too soon. Spoke too soon. Spoke too often. See, doesn't this feel like... <clears throat> oh, shit. You. And you. Butt buddy one and butt buddy two. Oh, oh God. Okay. <clears throat> Maintain that trigger discipline. Shit. Hey. Listen to this. You bastard. Looks like a teleporter. It, it really is. I think you do get teleported back here at one point, probably. Could you imagine this? Nowhere else, nowhere else would you be able to... You coming through again? Stop it. It's like, for five seconds, I'd like somebody not to pop out and try and munch my butt cheeks. Because my booty cheeks have been molested the last time. The last... The very last time. Look at that head. It's gone. Gone. Yeah, see now, instead of just slime, now they have pentagrams on their systems. So, the aliens have taken over. This is the personal audio log of Dr. Frank Serrano, dated September 19th, 2145. I've been brainstorming on Petruger's thoughts about achieving sustained, uninterrupted transfers for the teleportation units. Currently, our systems can only build enough of a charge to have the portals open for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. It's enough time to get a team through, but not enough time to send in some of the heavier equipment. Engineering in the Inpro facility informed me that we can theoretically boost the active portal time to 45 seconds quite easily. But, this will require rerouting power from central processing, and we just can't afford the downtime. Power requirements for the system are astronomical. We're sucking power from three veins in Inpro just to power chamber one. 
I have no idea how we can sustain transfers for longer than 60 seconds without giving serious thought to reorganizing the teleport power grid. I'll sleep on this. This is Dr. Frank Serrano signing off. Yeah. I don't know how we're gonna keep doing this. It seems like everybody was dicking around with teleportation and then all of a sudden, oh yeah, why is everything broken? Oh hey. There's a smart move right there. Stand above me and then fire down at me. That's a, that's a smart move. Smart move. Not to, uh... I do like the animation where he just hops up on that rail and leaps down. It's pretty freaking awesome. <clears throat> I get you. Good. I always have the high ground if you can have it. That would be a good zone to have. Hold that up there and hold these zones. Again, if I was fighting off the legions of the damned. The thing is, it's just the fact that they can teleport and they can spawn anywhere. That's always the issue. You'd always have to have somebody constantly on patrol and watching your ass. Granted, it's very freaking loud when they come in, but if they're crawling through the pipes and being quiet... Mm. Decontamination chamber sequence initiated. Okay, for chemicals, so we, we, we do get sprayed with chemicals, don't we? Who's coming? Who's coming? Who wants some? Who wants some? It's you, Billy! You got some! You got some right in your face! Well, hello there! Oh, jeez. I'm gonna whip that shit in my face. And... Yep. Oh. I was thinking to myself, oh, he's gonna drop down and then start fighting. No, he's... he's Ugh. He drops down, struts, then he runs at me. It's like, okay. Way to move. Decontamination process started. I don't want to be in here anymore. Decontamination complete. Have a hey, nice buddy. day. Hey, buddy. I hate you. I hate you, too. Don't kick me in the face, please. Would you? We can't even go back. I'm gonna go forward. There's no retreat. There's no escape. There's the portal. Maybe we can use that to get to the other locations here. In the left. Wouldn't that be some shit, man? Yeah, so 836. Could you imagine? A bunch of guys like, oh, well, we discovered teleportation. And we're going to take and put it everywhere. We can't, uh, we can't maintain it. The energy required is sapping from all the other sectors and causing everybody else stress. But by God, we're going to do it. It's like, man, that's such a dick move. That's so evil. We got three. All right, boys and girls. What the fuck are you doing? Kicking my ass across the floor is what he's doing. Let's see. I can probably kill him for this. Hey, he doesn't move. That's his greatest weakness. And that is his greatest weakness. He does not move. The fool. Please select teleport destination. Main pad one, balcony. Oh, you're not gonna... Pad one, selected. Pad two, selected. Pad one, selected. I don't know what the hell main pad is. Oh, fuck pad it, we're gonna go to the balcony. Selected. Man, would you wanna do this? Shit looks spooky as hell. Oh, cool. I, I can do either or. Cool. Sweet zombie. Jeez. Could you imagine going through some of that shit? It's like, my God, this is awful. And see, I can't go back the other way. So I'm kind of SOL, right? Is that what it is? Kind of SOL? Hey, buddy. You sh shot him right in the freaking head. And he's just like, my autism is active. Decontamination process started. Oh, God. A spray with more chemicals. Getting the, I'm getting the autism. Patience with you is wearing thin. What do you mean your patience? You were trying to kill me from the very get-go. What patience could you have with me? 
In reality, I don't think he has as much control over it as he says he does. Oh shit. He's right in there. Okay, never mind. I thought he was coming out behind me. I was like, okay. I'll deal with you, ass ass. Come on. This guy's... Yeah, these guys are more active. More active than the commandos. The commandos are definitely lazy. Oh, for God's sake. Don't you whipped up those little balls, you? You did. Could you imagine just teleporting and then you just get buckshotted right in the face? You go back to hell and everybody's like, what happened? Oh, well, you know, I got kind of TP'd in and the guy just spawn kicked me. I'd be like, wow, that's just rude. Look around you, Marine. Everyone is dead, and soon you will join them. Not everybody. Yeah, a couple of people are dead. Swan, I don't know. swan dead? Shit. That's not good. Dick. Can you feel my heart? I mean, I don't want to mention the fact that there's other people not dead. Because we shouldn't sit here and say, yes, everyone else is dead. I mean, you have to admit, when you start seeing that, I, you know, I didn't think that guy who was studying that dead imp was actually alive. I thought he was a zombie. I thought he was going to come back and be like, hey, man. I mean, I would be happy to see somebody. Hell, I'd probably give somebody a hug if I saw all this shit. I'd be like, oh, thank God, somebody else. Some, uh, someone else is alive. Access granted. Access granted. My granting of access is access granted. Hey, yeah. Holy shit. Oh, shit. I thought that was just a submachine gun. I didn't think it was actually the guy. Yeah, now he's standing right in front of me like, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I I'm getting really tired of your shit. I'm going to stick this... Gonna stick this barrel in your mouth and pull the trigger until you die. Doesn't that make you feel good? It's like, no. Makes me feel rather upset. I get rather upset with that, man. Let me start using this more. I'm, I'm seeing ammo for it everywhere. And I've been using the shotgun. It's some freaking ass bandwidth primitive. Okay, can you just die? You're great. I really wish I could read that. I wish I could read. We <laughs> 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 locked the door. Aren't you scared? I'm frustrated. Very frustrated. I guess, you know, after a while, if you survived most of this crap, you'd probably be more frustrated than you are anything else. I suppose I would be spooked out by this, like, what the hell is this? What is this growing out of the base? And I have to say, and that was another thing, if I hadn't mentioned it already, that really bugs me is the fact that they wouldn't authorize orbital bombardment on the facility. Because I would authorize that, I'd say that in a heartbeat, I'd just fucking bomb the facility. Bomb it as hard as you freaking can, dude. Well, at least not... I don't want to say it. I mean, even if you took a bomb, would that really do anything, I suppose? Something you're thinking about it? I'm like, you bombed it from orbit, and then you destroyed the facility. Would that destroy the imps? Would that destroy their gateway here? Like, what would that do? Surely, surely if we took and bombed it from orbit, like you blew up Delta Lab, say, would that really stop the demonic invasion or even the alien invasion just take it is they're aliens we have no means of understanding how they have teleportation technology so well obviously you know, we know that they don't have great enough teleporters to be able to get them to earth so then their teleportation technology isn't that powerful however localized teleportation seems to be very effective Especially for the more demonic forces. Warning. Chamber malfunction. 
Wow, I got a malfunction. Oh no. Here, D storage. Oh, I know there's somebody gonna pop out. Don't give me that horse shit, nobody's gonna pop out. Come on, pop out. Yeah, I haven't been scared of that voice, that grumbly voice since Diablo 1. With fresh meat. That was scary. This was also scary. I mean, honestly, you play this in the dark? I mean, I'm playing it semi in the dark. Got a little fan on myself. Well, here's a teleporter. Found my way back. I hear ya. I hear ya. I thought I heard you. Goodbye. Back to hell where you belong. Where did you spawn? Behind me? Nope, that's fine. Good. So that's where you should always have more monsters spawn. Always in front of you. No teleportation directions. Ugh. So what, do I have to say to the main teleporter, or what? Scan, baby, scan. Please select teleport destination. Oh, I can go to storage, too. Cool. I'm gonna go to storage. Add three. Selected. You would not probably want to do this, but I'm doing it. I like the fact that you can change it over here. It gives it a little bit. Whee! It's scary! Right. And somehow we can get out of here, right? What the hell is our objective doing this? Okay, this was the hallway. You got that storage hallway. So what? We just have to go to the... Fuck. So what is our objective? Go to the main? I, I take it we have to go to the main. Everyone in the grandmother's got a rifle up my ass. Oh, look at that. He's like, I'm not going to let you get away. Not today. Very smart. Very dedicated. Not, uh... Too powerful. I think most of these guys, they're very dedicated. They're eradicating you, but... Yeah, this guy should have ran out. The fool. Should have picked yourselves up a plasma rifle. That has sorted everything out. I wish we could actually have like a little newscast still going on. Like the world around us has gone to shit, but the world <laughs> outside of us is still going good. Go. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's see here. Did I take everything out of the storage room? I did, didn't I? I think so. Oh, well, I came back to the storage room, and lo and behold, I activated another. Triggered somebody. There you are. I triggered... Oh, two of them. I've triggered two people. Now, oh, dude. Die. Freaking scum. Scum. I still love these things. Man, I, you know... Everything outside, this doesn't look good, but this, this still looks crisp and good. It looks beautiful. Activation is logged for medical follow-up. Oh, okay. That's pretty freaking cool, though. It gives you a, it gives you a little ID there. That's cool. Again, I think all the little displays and stuff still look brilliantly good. I don't know why, but they do. They look really, really good. Dead. Okay. He 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 ha ha ho 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 ho. Yeah, I know. I get it. You destroyed the bridge. You're real cool, buddy. The problem is the fact that it's like there should be no. I mean, if I was in Petruger's shoes, I, I would pour everything on this guy and try to stop. Him. Hey, that's all I'm saying. If I was in Petruger's shoes. Which, obviously, I ain't. 
But if I were, I would pour ev- See, the thing is, you know, you have to wonder how much control he actually has over these creatures. Because you imagine, it's not very much. Listen, you know, the thing I'm thankful for is there's no maggot babies and no spiders. You just wait. They say that like four or five spiders should come out. Ooh, I'm gonna eat your face. They really loved the imp. They really, really, really loved the imp of this game. And you notice those damn dog creatures aren't here either. No dogs. It's nice. Decontamination chamber sequence initiated. Does that mean security's open? Oh, I like the fact that I can look through that. That's pretty cool. Didn't have to do that. Didn't have to do that. Not at all. Well, let's go upstairs and see if security's open. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't mind fighting you in the dark. You can still see the white of your eyes. Funny thing is, you can't, uh... Human beings normally don't have. You can have that if you shine light. Like, they'll have some reflective... Oh, there you go, it took a shotgun blast in the face. Restricted access. Why? Why is the security station restricted? Oh, do I have to teleport in there? Come on, man. That's some bullshit. Somebody said that. Somebody was clowning around saying, Hey guys, you want to do some teleport? I think this would be really started. funny. Primary system failure. Nice. System shut down. Backup Great. systems online. Stop him. Yeah, stop me. Stop me before I come and slap you down. Get out of here. I like how he says stop him. It's one it's one guy. It's one guy. Come on, man. You wonder if he tortures these people after they fail. Like, come on, they tried. They're like, oh, we'll stop him, sir, I promise. It's like the stormtroopers. Or even some of the commanding officers in Star Wars with Darth Vader, and Darth Vader gets angry and just kills them. It's like, come on, man. They're just trying they're trying. got to emphasize the badness by showing the... See, the thing is also, you know, for any of those stories, you have to emphasize the badness of a character. So normally they have it where they mistreat the people who follow them. Which in reality, most people who actually lead, whether they be good or bad, quote unquote, normally if they lead people, they lead those people very well. Storage. I'm gonna go to security. See, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Somebody sat down and said, "Hey guys, let's let's go do some teleportation." Just, you know what? <laughs> okay, that was that was too good. This is ours. Teleportation. We don't need no damn. I got no damn problem. I don't do a teleportation. All right, let's go to security. I can only imagine. Would you want to do this every day? I understand people don't like commutes and stuff, but would you want to do that? <laughs> like, oh, hey, guys, we're going to get under the teleporter with this horrible, horrible flesh tube. Yeah, enough charge to have portals open for 10, 15 minutes. Enough time to transfer a team through, but not enough time to send in some heavier equipment. Do you have any idea? The route, supplemental power? Oh, God. This is the audio log of Dr. Martin Schultz, dated August 7, 2145. We need to amend the operating procedures to ensure that all target teleport markers are properly set and locked before engaging the systems. We had a tragic accident today in Chamber 1 that led to the death of Susan, one of our female chimps. She stepped onto the platform during the calibration phase. An electrical short gauged the system, literally split her in two. 
torso appeared at the destination marker, while her lower extremities remained in place on the source pad. I'm not sure how we've gone this long without this problem appearing sooner, but it seems like we've been having nothing but difficulties getting these systems to work. I don't know where Betruger finds the energy. He's been busy slaving away in the labs for 16 hours a day trying to debug these latest problems. What's he trying to do? Make the rest of his working stiff look bad? <laughs> Regardless, we have our work cut out for us over the next couple of days, going over all the system's logs to see exactly what went wrong with this round of tests. Dr. Martin Schultz signing off, hoping to report better news next time. Yeah. You know, I wonder if you actually threw the monkey in both ends. Like, okay, so you, they split it in half. I'd be like, I wonder, could you throw it back through? And then, would it fix itself? You know? Would it work? I mean, it's kind of like any of this. Look at these things. Honestly, I would never want to sit. I would never want to be the guy who sat on this shit. But I'm sure they pay you, like, like think about it. Like four hundred thousand dollars. If they paid you that, would you do it? I could imagine you get paid four hundred thousand dollars to test it. Making progress, Marine. Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine. Yeah, they're just reusing the lines. I think by this point, it probably ran out of voice acting, time, or money. One of the two. Hey, which you know. And you notice these levels are a little bit more. Contained. Short and contained. Die! I'll try not to.